This is a demonstration of how to use SPSS to create a frequency distribution and a frequency histogram, as well as how to put a normal curve into that histogram. So this is the SPSS spreadsheet. This is the data entry field, and this is the variable view. So anytime we want to enter data, the assumption is we're going to enter data of a variable. So we need to first define the variables. We're just going to call this x. And this is a numeric variable. Width, we can keep it at 8. We want to keep do two decimal places. There aren't any values because we're just talking about a continuous variable. And we want to define the measurement as a scale system of measurement. So I'm just going to put in values here. Okay, so I've put in 20 values, and what I want to do is use SPSS to create the frequency distribution and histogram. So I go up to Analyze, to Descriptive Statistics, to Frequencies, and then it's going to pop up and say, okay, for which variables would you like frequency distributions, and I'm just going to highlight this X variable and bring it on over. Then in the statistics portion, this gives me lots of options, but we're not interested necessarily in these statistics yet, so we can just continue from there. Then in the charts, it gives me an option to ask for a histogram, and it asks me, do you want to see a normal curve? Yes, I'm interested in the shape of the distribution, so show me the normal curve. Then hit continue, and then OK. And this is our frequency distribution. Here we have values of x, the frequency column, and the percent. Okay. And then here is our histogram. Okay. Along the x-axis here are values of x. The y-axis is the frequency. And here we can see that more or less this does conform to a normally shaped distribution. Now, for your homework, I ask you to turn in the histogram. So in order to get the histogram from the SPSS output into a Word file. You want to highlight this field, go up to Edit, Copy Special, and you want to save it as an image file. So you, it's automatically defaulted to save as an image file. Okay, so you hit OK, and then you bring up your Word. You also want to go to Paste Special, okay, and you want to paste it as a picture. And there's your histogram. Okay, please email me with questions.